Hello there, it's Lucas again. Today I will be doing a kind of advanced uh, muzzle flash tutorial. If you happen to watch the last one, you might want to watch that one. So yeah, I'm going to be using a pistol for this tutorial. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you know, the slide back of the blowback of the pistol. So this helps if you don't have a blowback airsoft gun. Uh, which are more expensive so what we will be creating is kind of like that that's kind of slow motion because for some reason my computers are doing it fast so yeah so you can see I'm just doing the muscle flash that I did the last tutorial I didn't have time so I didn't light up like the arms and the faces and I actually heard that's not realistic so you can decide if you light up the arms and everything in the head in the face but turns out it's not that realistic and also I saw in a tutorial of Quincher that or I guess I thought you pronounce it I don't know Quint that uh, muzzle flashes are really rare I knew that uh, but in but he gave a really useful tip that's they appear every like around eight shots like once every eight shots so you can just put the smoke sound effect and that will sell it plus the shells that I'm gonna teach you today so we're just gonna be looking at this light back blow back and the shell so yeah let's create a new composition here so the shot is around here there so B for work for to trim the work area there you can see there's where he reacts and moves. So yeah, we can take that to our advantage. So let's find the frame where you think it starts. I would say it's here. We should do it there. There. Okay. Let's zoom in. Uh, and we will do the blowback first. So we're gonna grab our masking tool, we're gonna make a mask around this part. Spacebar to move your video. Back. So now, oh my bad, sorry I wasn't paying attention. So you ended up here and you close it. Now we have the, the barrel. You can feather it out and double M and feather it like I don't know 1.5 just so it blends. Now duplicate this layer M, delete the mask, put it behind it so we're gonna call this one blow back and this one I don't know clean plate. We want this to last one second, so Alt, uh, start bracket, and bracket. So now it just lasts one second. Now what we're gonna do is move it back. So use press V or select your selection tool. Click it, then what is it? Shift. And, oh, sorry. Make sure you don't grab the mask. Shift and you move it to the uh, right or well depending on how your shot is around there now we have to get rid of this part so what we're gonna do is first we will cut it no we will come here to a part where you don't have anything there like that so duplicate clean plate call it background move it to run here there find where your shot is there now cut it to the frame off, turn the eye off, and 
user mask tool and selecting the background select all this that you don't want in your in your background like that now I turn it on and you see we already kind of deleted it we can feather it out actually we must <laughs> so feather it out I don't know like two does that help mm. Maybe more. Let's just keep it at two. It's gonna be fast, so. And actually, mask expansion, I didn't do it big enough, so maybe 1.5. There we go. That's a lot better. Now, you want to trim this. Wait, you already did? Never mind. Now that we have that, all we have is this. Which looks good, but. Not quite there yet. So, what we want to do is create the part that goes here. So, command Y and Mac and select actually any color because we're going to use something else. So, turn the eye off, mask, uh, start here. Sorry, mine is orange, but it's an nice done. Here, here, and here. So, you fake like a kind of like a tube going from here to here that connects both uh, you can see now it looks terrible oh yeah and also trim it to uh, cut it to one friend so now you have this which nah, doesn't look really good at all you can say it looks before, <laughs> better before. Uh, now we're going to look for ramp, your effects, ramp, there. We're going to set the start of ramp up here at the beginning of your barrel and the end of your ramp at the end of your barrel on height. Then with uh, the start color will be white in the end color you can choose the color of your gun I think it's around there maybe darker so around there I guess then I'm gonna blend it a little bit with the black one so it's a little bit darker for me it works like that now we want to feather it out a little bit maybe two yeah, sure. That looks good. Now we will add a directional ramp. Directional bearing, I mean. And actually, give me a second. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. Well, it was just like one second for you, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what, where were we? Oh, yeah. So we're putting directional blur. So it fakes the blur. Uh, we want to set the direction this side, so 90, and the blur length to like, I don't know, 20. That. And I just realized I forgot to erase that. Well, don't worry about that. Uh, on your barrel thingy. I don't know, I'm gonna call it two for some reason because every time I look at it, I imagine a tube. Uh, you're going to do the same but with less thing, less length. So go to tube. So, like this way. So, negative 90, yeah. And blur length are uh, like 5. You can see now it's looking a lot better. It looks great actually according to me. Uh, now you can just add the muscle flashing and sounds that I did before. Oh no, actually, I was also going to teach you how to do a shell here. Just put a shell, but I, I'm going to put the muscle flash first. So I'm just going to copy this. Paste it here. And something else. Hmm. 
No, that's it. Uh, now I'm gonna drag this shell from Action Essentials from Vita Copilot. What is it? In there. So, scale it down to match to your video. I would say mine will be around. Sorry. Around there. Around 5 for me. I will rotate it. Then animate it. So position there. And 1, 2, 3, 4. This. And then you can go down, I guess. Or actually, no, that looks really bad. Let's do it like this. Just one thing. So it goes kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like. Now it has a motion blur of course, this motion blur makes everything better. <laughs> oh, of course the master blur, like I call it. Like that. Now, the shell is going in front of my arm, which it shouldn't. So what we will do is duplicate, clean plate. We're gonna call it arm. Mask it out with our mask tool here. Uh, yeah, and we can make it two frames long. So start here, Alt, start bracket, two more frames, Alt, and the bracket. So now we got this. Okay, that looks good to me. And add some sound effects. Uh, some camera movement. Uh, and yeah. So I'm Lucas the reader from the latest productions and this was my advanced muscle flash tutorial. Bye. Okay, so this last part is just for my friend Elias. He wanted to see how the video that we did together is looking. I, I think I'm not gonna upload it to YouTube because uh, I have to do the sound effects yet and I think it came out really short. So we can do another one, but I'm just gonna show him how it's looking and it's looking pretty good actually so that's what I, I had for now uh, So in real life, it's really fast. Yeah, so you can see it came out really kind of weird. Uh, personally, I think that. So yeah, the, that's how it came out, Elias. And yeah, so I'm Lucas Zarita from Lucas Productions. And this was the tutorial. Bye.